A cheap solar powered fence light, uh, this is just a basically a solar garden light, but designed to actually mount onto a wall or fence and provide some downward illumination, so I thought I'd buy one and just take it to bits, just because. So um, I see an actual battery compartment in the back here. Screwdriver. Let's hook that out and see what capacity it is. 600 milliamp hour. No, it's 150 milliamp hour, which is possibly one of the smallest capacities I've ever seen in a AA. And I have some 150 milliamp hour AA nickel metal hydride cells that came from eBay, listed as 3 amp hour. But uh, this one is very honest. It actually says 150 milliamp hour, and I may actually put that to the test. So uh, I don't see any screws. Uh, I can see hardware under here, so I'm guessing that comes off. Is this just clipped together? Yes it is, it's not clipped together particularly strongly. There's the wee silicon rubber cover, there's a switch, there's a circuit board. What about this? this come out? Oh, it does actually come out. Oh, and it tilts out. Okay. So the solar panel is sort of like they've put the sealant in here. The battery terminals are on the circuit board, it's quite nice. It's got one of those generic little four pin chips that go under various numbers. Um, the Switch has hot melt glue in the back, probably to hold it in place to stop it. Uh, the solder connections sort of fracturing at the back. What size is the inductor? I'm going to take a wee look at that through my microscope. The inductor's colours are red, violet, brown. I'm just actually double check that. Yeah, red, violet, brown, which is 270 microhenries, which is actually fairly high. With these little uh, four pin chips, the higher the value of the inductor, the lower the current through the LEDs. As the inductor size goes down, say you this is say 270 microhenry, if you went up to 470 microhenry, the LEDs would be dimmer. Um, and if you went down to 100 microhenries, they'd be brighter. So by adjusting that uh, inductor there, they can uh, tune the light to the application, which is generally determined by the capacity of the cell and the size of the solar panel and how much light it's going to get. Um, but yes, yeah, neat enough. Quite a large circuit board. It's a bit surprising, actually. It's got other component uh, positions on here. A couple of diode positions. Possibly to allow for uh, using colour changing LEDs in, in another application um, where they just use capacitor to smooth the and rectify the output from the inductor. And maybe also, uh, some there's quite a beefy size of diode here. I wonder if it's possible that um, it could be also to allow the different use of different chips um, so that they actually the, the cell, solar cell gets charged through the diode. Not really sure. But it's nice enough, it's neat enough for the cost. It's just a wee basic cheap fence light and it seems okay.